Pope Leo's interaction with Attila the Hun in convincing him to turn away, leaving Rome unharmed, saved the Catholic Church from certain destruction. Pope St. Leo the Great was an avid defender of the Catholic Church. He fervently attacked and stamped out many heresies, including the Manichees, the Nestorians, the Monophysites, and the Pelagians. Leo's defense of the faith went beyond just shutting down heresies. He would also immediately stop any bishop or bishops who attempted to corrupt the church or go against his papal decrees. At the Council of Chalcedon in 451, Pope Leo was faced by delegates who resisted his papal authority. To counteract these delegates, Pope Leo simply declared their conclusions invalid. When talking about the defense of the faith, Pope Leo stated thus, If we do not watch with the diligence which is incumbent upon us, we could not excuse ourselves to him who willed that we should be the sentinel. Despite all of Pope Leo's prior victories against attacks on the faith, his biggest challenge had challenge had yet to arrive as Attila the Hun, the scourge of God, descended upon Rome. Contrary to the popular image of the Huns being as unwashed, uneducated, uncivilized barbarians, Attila the Hun was actually born into a powerful family. From a young age, Attila and his brother Belda received a tutelage in archery, sword fighting, and riding horses, as well as learning to read and write Latin and Gothic. As both the brothers became proficient in military and diplomatic tactics, in the year 434, Attila and his brother became rulers of the Hunnish Empire, and made a peace treaty with the Roman Empire. Between 434 and 439, the Huns attempted an invasion of the Sansited Empire, but ultimately failed. In 440, the Huns turned back against Rome, claiming a treaty had been broken. And in 445, Attila murdered his own brother, and began complete control of the Hunnish Empire. With this, he reinvigorated and reinstated his campaign against Rome. As Attila descended upon the capital city, Roma, Emperor Valentinian III called upon Pope Leo to negotiate with the Huns, having the well-being of Rome in mind. No one knows what was said on that fateful day in the year 452 AD. All we know is that Pope Leo convinced Attila to leave without ransacking Rome. There are several theories as to how Pope Leo persuaded the infamous Hun, but there are no known written records of what happened. Ideas ranging from bribery to divine intercession have been suggested. Here are a few. Hypothesis 1. Pope Leo bribed Attila for protection in return. Attila? Pope! Why have you come for Rome? Is it not obvious, or are you ignorant? I have come to take what is mine. The Rome has broken our treaty, and therefore you must pay in your blood. How will bloodshed pay off any of these debts? Because you see, Rome has been struck with famine, and our last harvest was meager, and this year it proves to be the same. If you capture Rome now, you will gain nothing. You and your men deserve to die. All right, here's a deal I'll make with you. If you forget about your bloodlust, I will pay you in gold. So take this gold and head back to where you came. All right, Pope, I will leave. But know this, your life and the rest of the lives of Rome is worth less than this bag of gold. Hypothesis 2. Pope Leo enlightened Attila about the disease that was running rampant among his own men and informed him of the famine that was occurring within Rome. Attila, Pope, why have you brought your men here? Is it not obvious? I'm going to gut Rome just as I have gut every city as I came here. Don't be a fool, Attila. Can't you see that your men are dying of illness? If they fight another battle, you'll sure to lose. There's no way that you want to throw your men into this battle for just the sake of capturing Rome. Don't try to trick me, Pope. I will not fall for your honeyed words and your silver tongue. My men are the greatest in this world. They would not fall to disease. You make a good point, Pope. I shall be leaving. <laughs> Hypothesis 3. Divine intercession with Pope Peter and Paul standing aside Leo, with a legion of angels supporting the three men. Attila? Pope? Do you really think you can capture Rome? What makes you think I can't? I burned, raped, and pillaged every city on my wake of destruction. When people whisper my name, they call me the Scourge of God. I'm here to take your head, and your puny God can't stop me. Wanna bet? The 
This is your last chance, Tilla. I suggest you leave. You have a lot of power, Pope. Do not smite God lest he strike you down. Very well, I yield. This interaction between Leo and Attila saved the church, for had Leo not been successful, Attila would most likely have been victorious in his campaign against Rome. Attila, Pope, what is your business here? I've come to take your head as a prize. No, oh, oh, Pope oh. Leo, we're all gonna die! Oh. In this hypothetical scenario, Attila had conquered all of Rome. The Catholic Church died out with the slaughter of Rome and, Roma and his people. Christianity never spread around the globe. This, however, did not happen. Pope Leo was successful in convincing Attila to leave Rome, and because of this, the Catholic Church survived and formed the world as we know it today. Thank you.